Forget wearable technology. Swedish office worker Lynn Kowalaska is having it implanted under her skin. A microchip about the size of a grain of rice is injected into her hand. Uh, it felt pretty scary, but at the same time it feel, felt very modern, very 2015. Instead of ID cards or passcodes, workers who sign up for the implant can now open doors with the wave of a hand. The chip also currently lets workers swap contact details via a smartphone and operate a photocopier. Patrick Mesterton, co-founder of the Epicenter Tech Hub in central Stockholm, sees plenty of future applications for the implant. Like anything where you today would use a pin code or, 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 a, or a key or a card. So payments is, I think, one area. Uh, I think also for healthcare reasons that you can sort of uh, uh, communicate with your doctor and, and you can get data on what you eat and, and, and sort of what your uh, physical status is. The radio frequency identification chip is made from Pyrex glass and contains an antenna and microchip with no need for batteries. While some workers may feel uneasy at the prospect of literally taking their work home with them, the designers say the chip is completely safe and secure. Uh, you have your own identification code and you're sending that to something else which you have to grant access to. So there's no one else that can sort of follow you on your uh, ID, so to say. It's you who decide who gets access to that ID. The chip is in no way mandatory, and the limited benefits the implant currently offers may put many people off. But with wearable tech becoming more ubiquitous, the merging of biology and technology could represent a growing trend.